everyone. It's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. I believe it's Sunday for you if this goes up when it should be. So if you're watching this the day I post it, then happy Sunday. Uh, today for me is actually Wednesday, June 26th. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, the next few months, I guess, of videos is going to be different than normal. Just because normally I'm in... Uh, a different room in a different state. I'm um, from Arizona, so normally I'm in my Arizona craft room, uh, but right now we're up in Oregon and this room is just very plain. Um, I have an area upstairs, a little loft area that I want to turn into a craft room, but it looks like this right now. Yeah, it's a mess. Everything's on the floor. Uh, I have no idea if I'm going to even get any bags done in the next few weeks. I have one that I offered to do for a retreat that's going to happen soon. And so I'm going to have to at least make do to get one bag done. May not have time to get any done for Michelle's au or her auction in July. I'm going to try, um, but we'll see. Um, Anyway, if you're regular to my channel, you you know what I'm just talking about. Um, and, and if you're regular, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me, checking in to see what's going on. Last week was a super brief update, um, and I have a lot to update you on. Uh, let's see, we got to the, the house, um, and we hit the floor running, literally. Um, got the house cleaned up, gathered all the daddy long legs, put them outside, um, cleaned up all the cobwebs, um, and immediately started on yard work. Um, had to clear the beds of all the calla lilies. I don't like calla lilies, uh, and they take over everything, and you've got to dig deep to get all their little tubers out um, to, to keep them from coming back, and you just, it's like a constant every year work in progress, like you're never gonna get them all. Um, but they, they tend to choke out, uh, a, a little roadie plant that I have and they just, it, it's, I, I have to tear them out. So anyway, did that, um, cleaned up some of the beds, uh, cleaned up a Marion Berry bush. Um, Brad took trimmers and trimmed the, the apple tree, Charlotte's tree. Um, and I'm going to put in a brief video, um, probably here to let you just see what the tree looks like in the backyard, especially for Charlotte and a few others who want to know what the apple tree looks like. So here you go. Hello everyone. I thought I'd just show you the tree out in the back yard. I actually asked Callie to come out to give the apple tree some context as to how high it is. She's not out here yet. Uh, and I can see I left the, um, the shed door open but I just wanted Charlotte I want you to know the tree is perfect it's beautiful it's huge we um, when we got here all of the branches were touching the ground at the perimeter so we cut I don't know about four feet off the ends of all of the branches and it's looking really good right now um, Callie's not out yet so I'm gonna pause just a second and get her out here. Okay, Callie's out here now, and so, say hi, Cal. Um, I just w want you to see, like, how big that tree is in comparison to her. She is five, you're 5'11"? Five 5'10". Five oh, 5'10". But yeah, it's huge, right? It looks so good. And so does she. She's annoyed with me because I asked her to come out. Our favorite part, huh, Callie, is the underside of the tree. Because, yep, it still has such a great canopy. It's so perfectly shady. And just really beautiful. Now, that's all of the trimmings over there on the other side of Callie. Um, that pile right there is all of the tree stuff we got off. And then we went around and trimmed up a bunch of stuff from the beds. And it's all over there. That's a big sandy area where the former owners used to have a play set. But it's there now because we're waiting for our landscape yard waste bin to get here. Um, and when that gets here, that's probably going to be like three weeks worth of 
yard debris, but our peach tree is here and the peach tree is way, way too big. It's too high. Um, I don't know how well you can see how high up it goes, but it goes way up there and peach trees aren't supposed to be that high. They're just supposed to be like right around here and just bend over so you can get them. Um, but it's not time to prune that. Over here's all my cannas. And these I'm actually gonna transplant. They really like full sun and where they are, they tend to be blocked from the sun. So all of these are gonna be transplanted in a couple days. And these are new and I had to look them up using the plant identifier app. And they come up as what's called an honesty plant. And they're all in here. So I'm gonna have fun trying to get these out without taking any of these out. Huh, Cal? Yeah. It's supposed to rain starting tonight. I've got some daisies and lilies there. The back beds, those have been torn. They're just, we have to redo them, rebuild them. And my Marion berries right back here. The posts have fallen. Yesterday, Callie and I pulled out the dead vines. Uh, we've got a bunch of primacanes that are coming up and there's only three that um, flowered this year from last year. So um, that stuff, we gotta fix it. We're just gonna take out, because we didn't get so many this year, uh, berries. There's just a few that have flowered and are starting to bury. We're probably gonna cut those off and just have it for next year. Because the primacanes that are coming up this year, those will branch out. You gotta wrap them around the wire. Um, and then next year, those will branch out and the branches are what gets the berries on it. So Marion berries next year. Look at this beautiful tree. So yes, Charlotte, your tree's fine. There are a bunch of apples up here. I thinned some out on the edges the other day. Um, but I don't know how well you can see them given the lighting. But they're just little right now. So that's it for the apple tree. Just wanted everybody to see it's doing really well. And that's all. So anyway, yeah, we've done tons of yard work, cleaning up around here. Um, of course, grocery shopping, because you get here and there's hardly any groceries. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, today we had a contractor out to look at the house um, to get the siding redone because it is desperately needing new siding. Um, we asked him, we've been considering bumping up the kitchen eight feet. The kitchen's really small. It, well, I'm gonna say it's not too, I mean, it's small from a lot of, I don't know, size is relative, right? Some people have tinier kitchens, um, but there's just not a lot of storage space or anything. So we asked him, you know, just how much to bump it out. Six figures, y'all, not even kidding. And my husband and I just looked at each other and went, nope, we are fine. We will make do. Um, no. Uh, so we're going to get some siding done. Um, there is no way to get to the backyard from inside the house. you got to go out through the garage, through the utility room and out. But there's a nice big window in where our, our, our dining room, dining room, where the little kitchen table is. Um, and so we're going to have that made into a, like a, a little sliding glass door. So you just walk out that way. Um, so anyway, and update some of the windows because they've not been updated since uh, the house was built in the 40s, I think. Uh, so anyway, yeah, um, we happened to go to Xfinity yesterday just to check out their prices. Ended up, y'all aren't even going to believe this. I couldn't believe it. We stopped by and we both agreed we probably weren't going to switch internet. We just wanted to get info because it was really confusing online. Walked in, talked to the lady, decided, okay, why not? Well, let's go ahead and do this. We're standing there. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. And he says, we can have someone out today at 3 o'clock. Between 3 to 5. And we're like, what? Like, are we going to have time to get home? I He's like, no, really, we'll put it on the schedule for today, for that day, y'all in 30 minutes. Like that's unheard of, right? We all know the window, the eight hour window, and then they make it like 15 minutes past the window. 
This guy got here 20 minutes, because they said three to five, 20 minutes to five, and he got things taken care of. It was, we just looked at each other like, this is just unheard of. So anyway, the internet upload speed is not like what I'm used to it, down in Arizona, but it is better than what it is now. So hopefully the videos can stay right around the same quality. I just won't be able to jabber as long like I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just trying to update y'all. Uh, that's why I haven't been recording every day normally. I tried to start on Monday and then record throughout the week. Uh, we've just been cleaning up and doing yard stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan. Uh, so as far as stitching goes, let's get in there. I don't even know where I am as far as time. Six and a half minutes in. Oh, that's better than I thought. Okay, so I told you guys I was working last week on Seize the Day Stitch Along. I was hoping to get part three finished, and I did. Oh, I forgot my board. It's upstairs. Sorry if the light is see-through on this, um, but here's Seize the Day, and I did get all of that, the little um, cabanas. No, the cabanas were already finished, or beach huts, sorry. I finished the lotion bottle, added the hat, and this book. And I'm telling you, this stitching takes always takes longer than I expect. Um, part six came out the day after I finished part three. So I have to finish part four in here. Part five goes here and then part six starts there. Uh, I stopped because I'd finished part three and um, stuck this back in my purse so it can become my travel whip again. I do plan on working on it before uh, part seven comes out. I'd like to get part four done. So I'll be a couple parts behind. Um, but I'd like to get some work done on it every, every month. Um, okay. So the next thing I decided to, to get out, um, I did get a little stitchy spot of sorts set up in the living room. It's nothing fancy at all. I just have my light. I have a Lowry stand that I leave up here. So I was able to get that, my little, um, light over, uh, and the stand. And then I just have like a little wooden tray I just set my travel supplies on so I've got my scissors extra needles the, all that stuff goes there and so it's working so far the pattern I decided to work on is forever never by cottage garden samplings this is my working copy so um, part of the patterns actually it was like when you copy the book you've got the book and then the pattern is on this page so that's why Anyway, that's why I have the, the front of the booklet, I should say. And this is what I've gotten done. Uh, I Last night, I added the, the beginnings of the pink Christmas flower. Uh, but last night was Tuesday. Monday night, I filled in the really dark green here on the leaves. It, it was the inside right here got filled in. And then there's like a shadowing on all the outside of the leaves. And then right here on the, um, the little vine that goes over to this flower. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. Again, sorry, I don't have my board for back behind there. I'll try to remember that last next time. It is upstairs in the messy room. Um, as, as far as getting things in the mail or buying things, one of the things we always do when we get here is go thrifting. Um, and that was sort of a break. If we had to go out and do something, we'd hit a local thrift shop. Just helped us with uh, the really busy days we've had. And one thing I found is called, this book called Tile Quilt Revival. And it, let's see, it's by Carol Gillum Jones and Bobby Finley. And this book just completely drew me in. Um, it's applique and it looks like tile because they leave white space in between the motifs. Really fascinating. Uh, reinventing a forgotten form, tile quilt revival. This, I, I'm completely drawn into these. This book seems brand new and has all the patterns in the back. Oh my goodness, I was thrilled to find that because sometimes that's really difficult. But um, I'm going to show you, I love this one right here. 
beautiful and such a perfect quilts for scrappy but this one caught my attention obviously birds in the branches yellow sky birds there's another variant of that pattern which i really love as well so pretty right so i was really thrilled to find that didn't know anything about it but there you go then we stopped at the salvation army and i saw this kit line there for it said a dollar 99 it was lit under brick a brack it's a kit shepherd's bush kit can't really see it um it's called an advent sampler the kit comes with the linen right there the silk floss there's even a ribbon in there there's some pearl cotton beads and a needle right there and we get up to the register and the lady's like, oh, this is only a dollar today. What? I'm never going to stitch this, but I got it for you guys for a giveaway. I don't know how well that's going to focus in because of the glare of the window. Uh, but it's really, the whole kit comes with really detailed instructions. There's some pulled cut. What do they call it? I forgot, but I was reading the instructions and you should have seen my eyeballs. Like I went from like, oh, this is interesting to no. Let me see if I could describe it. Oh, hem stitching. Here you go. Count down four threads below the, the other row of stitching. I'm not gonna say exactly because it's pattern instructions. Near the center of your piece, clip the next two horizontal threads. Leave the next two threads intact and clip the next six horizontal threads. Again, skip two and clip the following two. Now unweave all the clipped threads from the center and reweave out into right and left hand borders to secure. I read that and I was like, what? No, uh-uh. I can't do that. I Well, I'm sure I could, but I don't understand the reweaving part. And I do believe there's actual visual instructions to the hem stitch. But y'all, if you knew me and how klutzy I was, when it said clip two, I'd probably accidentally clip three, you know? So not for me, not for me. Like my eyeballs, they're all like this now. That's how they were in the car when I was reading this. Anyway, um, I'm not sure where this kit came from because my glasses aren't on, but this is going to end up in a giveaway soon, as soon as I can get my room set up and get some bags done and get to stitching. Okay, now a couple videos ago, I shared that Tina, Tina Wyrens, she gifted me, passed on my favorite, like my unicorn chart, this. The Just Nan Trick or Treat, Ort box. No. They call this an Ort box? I don't think so. Yeah. Anyway, I had said that it didn't come with um, a key, and that's because I assumed that when you got the kit, when she got the kit, the key was on um, like a floss card, and when you're done with your floss cards, you normally throw them away. So that's why I assumed it didn't come with a key. And then she discovered she still had the cover page and the key and a whole bunch of instructions on the back. So she sent it with me because when I pass that on to the next person, she wants the whole thing to continue on and, and stay together. Um, but also because she's amazing, she sent, and I love this chart, she sent Sail at the Bubbling Cauldron from Praiseworthy Stitches because she says they can't travel alone. So even passing on part of um, the Ort gift um, the chart gift she passed on, she passed on another chart. Now here's the thing. I love this and I want to stitch it, but it's one of those that I look at and think I, I'm probably not ever going to get to stitching that and it deserves to be stitched y'all that deserves to be stitched. And so she said in her note and when I messaged her, I told her I love this, but I probably wouldn't end up stitching it and made sure um, that she was okay with me using it as a giveaway. She re she said it first, but I just wanted to confirm with her she was okay with that, and she said yes. So that is gonna be a future giveaway too um, that is provided by Tina Wyrens 
for you guys. Um, and so Tina, thank you so much for that. Thank you for passing on the, the cover page to the ORT box and for that chart. That's just fantastic. It's such a great chart. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That's a long intro, um, as they all are, right? Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention, and some of you have noticed and made comments, um, there's actually two things. Um, I just wanted to share that I did hit my 20 pound weight loss on Sunday. Um, I meant to share my 15 pound weight loss with you uh, a couple weeks ago, but I had I had stepped on the scale and I'd only lost 14.8 the last day I recorded. So I was like, okay, the next video, I'll, I'll say if I pass 15 pounds and I had, and I'd gotten to like 17 pounds loss, but then I totally forgot to talk about it because it was right before we left on our trip and it was busy. So yeah, we got here. I'm down 24.20.4 pounds. Um, feeling fantastic. Um, and it's a really good thing that I lost that weight because I left my two good pairs of pants, the ones that fit at home. But when I packed, I thought, you can be optimistic. Go ahead and pack like the next size down just in case. Uh, and so I did just like, you know, let's just, let's just plan on continuing down this path. Um, and when I got here, I was looking everywhere for my pants. I couldn't find them. And I was, I was freaking out because they are my comfy, good pants and, and I love them. And I thought, okay you brought the extra you bought brought the next size down just try them and cross your fingers and i can't even tell you i was sitting there like holding my breath sucking in my gut and just being like see if you can wiggle them up over your hips i didn't even have to wiggle my hips i didn't even have to jump up and down i didn't even have to lay on the bed to zip them up and button them my husband watched me just pull those up and he was like oh, good for you uh yeah super excited uh, so the new Weight Watchers freestyle plan really works well for me. I'm really enjoying um, being on it. I don't, I, and no hangries happening or anything. It's just been amazing. So um, that's that's been great, exciting. So um, I'm actually going to put my, um, my referral link down below because whenever I mention it, um, some people say, hey, I, I think I may want to try this or whatever. And if you do the referral link, if you use it, you don't have to, I'm just gonna put it there. I'm just gonna tell you. It ends up giving you a free month and me a free month. Um, so I'll, I'll just put it below just cause I happen to mention it. But again, if you're new, I, I don't often talk about that. I just um, had mentioned a while ago that I would share the big milestones on my channel as they happen uh, because you guys will obviously see them happen. I mean, like, uh, yeah. Um, and the other thing is thank you so much for your well wishes for Callie. Um, that meant a lot to me. Uh, so many of you were just so happy that her dental appointment went great. Uh, one of you clarified how, um, because you had 30 years of dental experience, how the bridge works. Um, I really appreciated that and I haven't had a chance to respond to your comment yet. Um, and as usual, I don't even remember who said it, but I will when I go to comment. Uh, back, uh, I really appreciated what you said, and I truly wish that the dentist had um, explained it the way that you did, um, because everything he said, um, yeah, he he did not explain it nearly as well as that, and and if he had, I probably would have thought a little better of the outcome of all of that. But that was really nice of you to take the time to explain that. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay, so my husband and I are off. We have to go hit up Walmart. That's fun um, to get uh, laundry baskets. That's fun as well. So um, I will check in with you hopefully tomorrow and we'll see how far I get um, more on the forever and ever stitching. Until then, bye. Hello everyone. Today is Saturday. June 29th, <laughs> um, and I was supposed to record more during the week, and I said I would, but this week has been busy, right? Super busy. So I have a special guest, Callie. Hello. <laughs> Callie mm -hmm. decided to, uh, not decided, I asked her if she would be <laughs> in today's video with me, if even for just a little bit. She said she would as long as I gave her time to put on her makeup, <laughs> and I was like, 
yeah, that's <laughs> fine because I have to put on my makeup. Actually, I'd already put on my makeup, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So anyway, everyone, this is Callie. Hello. Callie, this is everyone. Um, now, I get actually, because I, I don't enunciate very well, a lot of people will say things about you, uh, like, you know, because I talked about you a lot and your dental issues a lot. <laughs> um, and they'll say Kelly in the comments or Callie because I don't enunciate well. <sighs> Y'all, on one of these days, I'm going to learn to put my phone on silent before I hit record. That reminds me. <laughs> is your phone not on silent? Yes. Your phone is always on silent. I know. Okay, it's Callie, C-A-L-L-I-E, which is short for Caroline, which happens to be her middle name. It's a long story. She chose it. <laughs> uh, her name is Amanda Caroline, but Callie for short, and that's not a story we're going to go into right now. <laughs> it's actually kind of a cool story, but yeah, it's a long story. Okay. <laughs> So, did you want to say anything about the teeth thing? The teeth? Oh. Uh, thank you guys for your well wishes. It went a lot better than they told me it would. So, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, that was really great. All of your wonderful comments. And I shared um, many of them, all of them. I'm always telling Callie, you know, mm -hmm. about them. So, that was really nice. And so, I let her know that a lot of you were thinking about her and happy that that went well. One thing to address, Callie doesn't know I'm going to do this. Can you hold these again? I took that those for me. Yeah. Um, no, it's not about you. Well, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> the other day I was recording and I had some stitching behind me and I meant to talk about it, but I didn't. Um, one, the walls are completely blank in here and drive me crazy. Um, but I had found last year a few Save the Stitches things and I had them set up on the bed because I... I want to find where to put them in the room, but this is something, oops, this is upside down. Um, I found at Value Village last year, um, and it is just some sort of needle point, um, and we went over this last year. A couple people let me know about what these were. Beautiful, beautiful patterns. This one got messed up, the matting, but I don't even care. Um, trying to see. So that was sitting on the bed behind me. It's just really beautiful needlepoint. I, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I was really thrilled to be able to save the stitches, but now I have to find a place to hang them. Are you laughing at me? You just, because <laughs> Kelly could see out. me. I'm holding it up, but I'm trying to look under it to see the computer to make sure it's centered. Okay, so the reason why we didn't record a lot this week is Kelly and I have been working our patooties off. Um, Yesterday, it, it rained for like a day, uh, like two-ish, a day. Well, I half. think that maybe, well, like an evening and a day, I think. Um, we had a thunderstorm come in. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, but it was really small. Like it wasn't a Midwestern thunderstorm or anything <laughs> like that. Um, but it cooled down and one whole day it rained, which I was really happy about because I wanted the ground to get really wet in the backyard and in the front yard because I wanted to move our cannas. I don't know if I talked about this the other day, but I wanted to move the cannas from the back fence where they're just in the shade. They they love sun, they love warmth, and they're not getting it back there. Um, so I told Callie when we first got up here that I wanted to transplant those from the backyard to the front yard at the very side edge. There's a chain link fence that separates our neighbor's property from ours and a nice empty bed mm -hmm. there. And so Kelly was like, okay. <laughs> More <And> work. <laughs> yes, because all we've been doing since we got here is pretty much yard yes. work. Um, so we got a day off for the rainy day. Mm -hmm. That's the day that we got the workbench. Um, yeah. I don't know that I talked about that. Uh, if I did, I may have to edit this out. But I got a workbench. <laughs> for my hobby room, um, hobby room. I'm not getting a hobby room. I'm just getting a few basic pieces of furniture for a sewing area here. Um, but one of them was a cutting table. If I didn't talk about this, now I'm gonna tell you. Um, I saw, I decided to do a Google search. Turned out, uh, where did we go? Home Depot had a an adjustable height, sit, stand, workbench, um, but it was white. 
which I really love because the one in Havasu is not white, and I wish it was white, um, had two drawers, but it was um, not as wide. It was like 52 inches wide. And uh, so we got that. I'll have a picture here um, and put it up in the sewing area. So now I just need a couple other pieces of furniture. But on the rainy day, I just happened to find that. It was a really good deal. We went there and, and Brad was really happy with the price and that it was so well made so we got it and set it up and then the next day that was the day that I told Callie the ground's wet it wasn't that wet though no it was no. not at all <laughs> um the top layer but yeah so we transplanted all those cannas how many holes did we dig I don't like, like 25 maybe 25 yeah because remember like the first I had like the first eight done and then kept digging all the way down to the she dug a lot. A lot of holes. <laughs> and then had to dig them out the back carefully so I didn't ruin the honesty plants mm -hmm. and move them. And we were wore out by, <laughs> was it like 1.30? Yeah. About. Yeah. Wore out. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to stitch the rest of the day, right? I'm going to take a shower. We're both going to shower and rest. I don't think we rested. No. Really. I mean, Brad I told me we need a new oven. And I'm like, what? The oven works perfectly fine. And he's like, no, since we decided not to, uh, re you know, extend the kitchen out, remodel or anything, we need to get the oven replaced. And I'm looking, I'm like, what is, why? Why would we do that? And then I remembered the previous owners, I'm pretty sure set their oven on fire or something. <laughs> because that back, that? did you not see that paint's all burned off? One of the back burners does not work. And I've just gotten used to only using a couple, you know, just the two burners and not really using the back burner. But the entire front part of, right behind that burner is totally scorched and the paint is melted off. Go look. I've seen it. I just thought it was something different. Yeah. I don't know. So, um, Brad is not one that likes, would, she calls him RG, it's a nickname. <laughs> would you say he, that he's one to let stuff like that go? Like if something's wrong or broke? No, he fixes it almost immediately. <laughs> yes. So apparently, I did not know this because I'm just making do. I'm like, like, until it dies completely and I'm only down to like one burner, we should leave it. But I think this is a kind of OCD thing with him. If it's oh. broke... And he can't fix it. It needs to be replaced or I don't know, whatever. And it drove him crazy that all the different appliances didn't match. And I'm just like, I don't even care. If everything works, it's fine. But Did you get an oven that's the same color? No, that one's white, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like black and part stainless steel. Oh, okay. like, then it matches. Yeah, it matches. But anyway, so we ended up doing that in the afternoon. I'm exhausted, back hurts, and he's like, hey, you want to go to Lowe's with me? And I'm like, why would we need to do this? Anyway, we have a stove coming next week. <laughs> um, thank goodness they were doing like some big 4th of July sale because I about choked uh, when he, they showed me like $859. And I'm like, what? No. <laughs> And then said it's a convection oven, and it was five hundred and fifty nine dollars. And I was like, yeah, because with Weight Watchers and stuff, I've seen lots of of recipes for um, air frying stuff, and um, they sound really good. But I don't want to buy an air fryer. Uh, but now I sort of have a built in one. Yeah, and cool. it has the same setup as that one where it has like a warmer in the middle. A warmer burner, never had that before. And this warmer bur burner doesn't work, <laughs> of course. So even when you had it, you didn't have it. Right, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, okay, so surprise thing in the middle of the week, um, oh gosh. Um, and then finally we got to stitching. I think you had a just- you got to stitching. I, I got to stitching. stitching. <laughs> Callie just plays on her phone. Okay, so let's show you the stitching now that I'm finally here. Okay, I was working on Forever and Ever. I think I just started the pink flower. And so I've gotten mm, uh, the whole center done and then a few more sh different shades around the outside. So there's like three different shades around the outside of the petals and the third shade is the one I'm starting to line it with. Um, so I was hoping to get this done by the weekend. Uh, 
I don't know if I will or not, but I'm going to try really, really hard to at least get this flower done. Um, those, it's a lot bigger piece than you think when you look at those, those stitching. Um, but yeah, that's my goal. Um, Sunday is the last day I'm going to work on that because next week is 4th of July. And Callie's holding my pieces for me. And she's just looking at me like, Mom, why do you keep talking? One prematurely, so I hope that doesn't bother you. No, I okay. don't care. They're probably like, what is she going to get to that? Just get to it. Stop <laughs> talking about the yard work and your new stove. Good grief. Um, what was the time? Oh, next week, 4th of July is going to be, I decided to work on Lady of the Flag because, hello, Yes, 4th of July needs to be this. I need to work on this for a week. So this is where, uh, you can show them. This is it? Yeah. This is where I got last time. This is just <laughs> part of her dress. I love the fabric that she chose. It's really amazing. Yeah, I love this too. This is the, what do we need? The preamble mm -hmm. fabric. You can get this from um, Stitchery Express, Cindy Sorley. If you're in her fa Facebook group, you can get it there, but she finally sells these fabrics online. And I got the 32 count, no, 36, no, 32 count fabric um, to put Lady of the Flag on. And I, I sort of took this off so Callie could see the top part because she really likes this fabric. And I love it too. Um, I do hope that part of the We the People will show because I just started this in the center didn't really think about having some of that show when it's done being stitched, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so anyway, that's going to be next week's stitching. Um, I'm sort of setting up my new rotation of once a week, but I don't know how I'm going to work out the rest of the weeks. I'm just sort of going upstairs and saying, what do I want to stitch on this week? Um, with all of the different, different things I have, I don't have very many, and I'll pick, pick one a week, and then that'll set up the new rotation because I'm not going to go back to it to a stitching until I get done. Callie's bored with this part, I know. Nice. Was there anything else that was happening? Um, I figured out a few of the pieces of furniture I need for the sewing room up here. It's not gonna be any big, huge sewing craft area like the other room. I just want basic pieces of furniture. I just need a table for the sewing machine. I already have a table for, I have a, a press up here, a, um, what are they? You call them steam presses normally, but this isn't a steam. It's just a big Elna press that I got at the thrift store for like 25 bucks up here. And it works great. Um, so we're going to Ikea tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> She's getting me to the point. The kids know me. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow's an Ikea trip. Um, but Callie gets to go this time. She's never been to Ikea. I've only been like three times, so I'm pretty excited <laughs> to go too. Um, and we need knives in this house. Yes, oh my Oh my gosh, like I don't know why. We ended up with a bunch of steak knives and some really old butcher knives that are dull as dull can be. And they're huge, so you can't like cut like little things. Yeah. It's, it's weird. You're like, I need to cut this apple. Here's a two inch long or two foot long saber. <laughs> <laughs> there is one like that. Yes. Here you go. Do you want this little teeny tiny knife? You want a steak knife to cut your apple? Oh my gosh. Okay, so. I think that's it for this week. I'm sorry for um, not recording normally. We're still settling in, I think. Um, hopefully, after this weekend, we'll have a bit calmer days. Callie wants to go see the coast. It's beautiful. Yes. Um, but we're saving it for a hot day because when it's hot in Salem, it's beautiful on the coast. Um, and, and the last time we went, it was not good weather. It poured rain. <laughs> when the kids were up here last two years ago, I think, mm -hmm. asked them to come up for vacation. It was the one of the hottest summers we had, except for the only week they were up here, and it poured rain the entire week. So I think you've been looking forward to the nice weather. Yes. Yeah. We set up a bunch of bird feeders outside, mm -hmm. so I think I'm going to edit my video, and Kelly may go back out, and we're hoping that the hummingbirds find our hummingbird feeders, and the goldfinches find the goldfinch feeder. All the birds, they're not coming to our house. Sad times. Yeah, they don't know to come here yet, but I put a bunch of food and I don't know, the lady at the Audubon Society told us to put um, 
She told RJ to put some peanut butter kind of feed out there, peanut feed or something to bring the birds. They're not bringing the birds yet, but I'm impatient. It's been like a day. It's been one day. And I'm like, where are the birds? Birds, get here. I want to see the birds. I'm not a patient person with that stuff. Or gardening. And I know that we move those cannas. I already told Callie, this is the absolute wrong time of the year to move it, but I'm too impatient to wait. And they're driving me crazy out back. So I'm like, if they, they're going to go into shock, they're probably not going to flower, but they'll flower next year. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for this week. Thank you for being on here no with problem. me. She's my pretty side piece. <laughs> sure. That sounded terrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That sounded so bad. Okay. She's my pretty kid. I love her. Um, so I hope you guys have all had a great week. Forgive the weird video. Uh, we're a little punch drunk, I think, from all the work this week. Hopefully next week, maybe a little bit better sort of checking in and stuff. And um, if you're in the U.S., I wish you a happy 4th of July. Wish them a happy 4th. Happy 4th of July. Um, and Have we fun. hope, yes, and mm -hmm. we hope the fireworks don't scare your animals, your friends, or whatever around here. It's like a week before, although we haven't heard any fireworks. I've heard some. Oh, a few. of course. And like three weeks after. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, have a happy and safe fourth if you're in the U.S. And have a wonderful weekend. Thank you if you made it to the end of this video because it's been a whacked out weird. The last couple videos, whatever. It's me. Um, so, until next time, stitch all the things and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.